Okay, we have an outlet that's all worn out. It's painted over and it's junk. Okay, we're just going to make sure this one's off. It's off. All right, so we can unscrew it. which is neutral. We're going to put our new outlet in. The black wire goes on the brass screw, the narrow slot. The white goes on the silver screw, the lighter slot. And the brown wire goes on the green screw. So I suppose the screws we're not going to use. It's tight. Down this way. Go black on the brass screw. Close our loop to fashion our screw turns. Make sure it's tight. Okay, now we can push our Wires back into our box and keep our ground wire down at the bottom here so it doesn't touch anything we don't want to touch. box is loose in the wall for the uh, make it nice and snug here and uh, the box itself is loose so I'm going to put some caulk around it to make it more stable Okay, so this is some caulk here, and we'll just squeeze it in the just go all the way around here. Don't let the 
box nice and stable. Is how to replace an outlet here in the country I was born in. You always put your black wire on the brass screw and your white one on the silver screw. This box was loose in the wall so I put some caulk around it to give it a little stability when it clears up and dries. Uh, we use a 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps. Black is live, white is neutral, the bare of the green is the brown. Red and blue are also live colors however you may find white live in a switch loop or a 220-240 volt circuit where the appliance does not require a neutral. Peace. Thanks for watching.